In this video, we're going to work on the Alex problem called sketching polarization induced by a nearby charge. So in this problem, you're going to get a box. Inside that box, there's going to be a charge. It could be a positive charge. It could be a negative charge. And then you're going to have at least one object. I've got two objects. Um, usually they're spheres, but I've seen other shapes as well. It could be a variety of things. The charge could be located anywhere inside this box. The objects could be located anywhere in the box. Don't like It doesn't really matter. The problem is solved the same way no matter what. The problem tells us that the objects are neutral. The objects are always going to be neutral. And that means, so it's referring to this object right here. This is neutral and this object is neutral as well. And that means that inside this object, the total number of positive charges equals the total number of negative charges. In this object, I have a total of 16 empty spaces. And so in that, that means that in this object, this particular object, I'm going to have eight positive areas and eight negative areas because the object is neutral. Eight of the areas inside this object are going to be positive and eight of the areas inside this object are going to be negative. Uh, so it's asking us, how will the charges, the eight positive charges and the eight negative charges, how will those charges be distributed due to the presence of this nearby positive charge in this case? So what we know is that opposite charges attract each other. Having the positive charge located right here means that the eight negative charges inside this object are all gonna migrate over to the side closest to that positive charge. So all eight of these regions are going to be negatively charged. And because like charges repel each other, the eight positive charges of this object are going to get as far away from that positive point charge as possible. So the eight positive charges are going to move over onto this half of the object. And all that we're going to do is represent that using these drawing tools um, that Alex has provided to us. We're going to be using blue to represent all of the positively charged regions. So you're just going to click on that drawing tool and then just, just shade in the half of the object that is uh, far away from the positive charge, shade that in with red, and the half of the object that we want to be negative, we're going to shade that in, uh, shade that in with red. Actually, I said red over here for this, but I meant blue. That's all you're going to do. You're going to look at the location of the object. Like maybe the object would be located over here. Where is the object located? You're going to divide your neutral object in half uh, relative to the position of the point charge. So if my point charge was located up here, I'd be dividing my object in half like that. And then you are going to shade, um, since this is positively charged, I'm going to shade negatively charged particles next to it. That's red, color-coded red, and the positive particles on the far side. 